What's cracking guys? Welcome back to some more Star Sword Academy! Last time we met Lara, Minty, whatever you wanna call it, the best freaking girl in the game that she was pretty damn good. Well, we got Ty too, so she's pretty damn good too. No offense to Ty, and I, I think I kinda wanna get with Ty here, at least for the first time here, because, you know, I kinda like her the best right now. So anyway, let's just do this, let's see if I can convince her to go with the festival for me. I'm not taking no for an answer here, Ty, you coming with me. You know, you really should go, Tom. It'll be all sorts of fun. Well, yeah, and for that reason, you should go along too, woman. Oh, by myself? Yeah, exactly. Ty nods quietly. No, girl, no, we're not having that. Then why do you have to be such a party pooper and not come? Yeah, exactly, woman. Uh, there's just some stuff I have to sort out. And what would that be? Come on, girl. You got. Ty continues to pull things out of her suitcase and puts them on organized piles across the bed. Oh, okay. Did you touch any of my stuff? <laughs> oh no, girl, don't be like that. I may have sniffed a little bit, but no, 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 girl. Um, oh god, please don't help me. Oh no, she, she flipped if I told her about the whole underwear and said, Oh, he caught himself there. Oh, thank god, Tom. Thank god he caught himself there. Uh, nope, I, I didn't touch a thing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ty cocks an eyebrow before returning to her and unpacking. You son of a bitch, I bet you sniffed my thumb. <laughs> oh no, girl, don't worry about it. Um, um, I really should consider unpacking in my room, too. No, don't leave her like this. Make her come with you. So, not to mention how tired I am. I let any sleep on the train, getting dragged around a poly all day. I kind of just want to stay in. That comfy and soft bed is calling my name, and I need to get around to breaking it in. Oh, what a party pooper, Tom. I sit in an empty portion of Ty's bed to test. Oh, what is he doing there? Okay. Uh, yep. It's just as comfy as mine. Oh, what is he doing there, Tom? What are you gonna do there, Tom? You gonna sleep there? But like Lara said, this is gonna be our last chance to attend these kind of events. Not like we're coming here next. Oh, there we go, Tom. Uh, unless we flunk out, which I'm sure Ty would never allow. Yeah, she's definitely not gonna flunk. I don't think this girl would ever flunk out. I mean, just look at her fucking board over there. This woman's already at him. Well, anyway, uh, Ty pulls out a couple of uniforms and irons out some creases with her hands. Wow, damn, this girl is pretty, pretty uh, freaking thorough. Um. Oh, well, I guess I'll go without Ty. No, that's not a freaking uh, convince Ty to go or stay in and be the biggest pussy ever. What are these options? What are the fuck are these options here? There's only one here, but first let's just at least save just in case anything comes up. Dude. All right, we're saved. We're good to go here. I'm convinced that Ty to go here. No, yeah, uh, I really should go to that event. You know, I'm not gonna get any of these chances ever again. Yeah, exactly, Tom. You know what's up, man? I'm, stu I'm your wingman here. I got you. I wanna make the most of my time here. You're right, Ty. I think I'll go. Well, good idea. You, you should really consider going as many events as you can while we're here. Yeah, and for that reason, you should go too, you little hypocrite. You know, speak for yourself. Yeah, exactly, Tom. He's, he's got my back there. Oh, uh, well, just let me sit this one out. I really need to unpack. Oh, come on now. Don't put it. I'm not letting that go, girl. You know, if you're staying in, how are you planning on unpacking in the dark? Yeah, exactly. That. Well, I'm sure she has light, like a light over there. But you know, come on, flashlight. <laughs> there you go. What a girl. She branches this one out of her bag. What is this woman? How dedicated are you just unpacking? No, girl. Of course. Ugh. What else can I bother her with? Oh, come on now, love. Maybe you can do it. You know, it's not gonna take you two all hours to unpack and organize your room or whatever. Actually, knowing her. It's just my- Oh, yeah, I bet she would. God, this girl's so thorough. You know, I'll help you out with this if you promise to actually have some fun this year. Yeah, oh, there we go, yeah. Help her out unpack your shit. That's a good idea. What about your luggage? But, you know me. I'm sure I could survive without pa unpacking for a day. Yeah, Tom, you good, man. You know, we're bachelors. We're slobs. We can just throw shit on no willy-nilly. It's no big deal. Well, what if- Well, what was it? You just said- Weren't you worried about your reputation as a new kid here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, make some good impressions, make some friends, woman. Your point? The girl who stayed in a room all year sounds like a really interesting epitaph, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Use that sarcasm. Plus, you know, you'll be able to plead your case better if you go out tonight and meet some new people. Yeah, there we go. You know, Ty sets down a t-shirt in size. Oh, did we get her? Did we get her? Ugh. Fine. <laughs> oh no! She does not like socializing one bit there. What is this woman? Ty closes her suitcase with a little extra fuss. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh yeah, you I know you're huffing, girl. I like it when you're huffing. Oh, is something wrong? You've been tense since we got here. Yeah, come on, girl. Oh sorry, it's just 
I really don't want to screw this year up. Oh, don't worry, girl. Tom's over here for it. He's got your back. No, you're not gonna screw it up by going out tonight. Classes haven't even started. Yeah, you'll be fine. You, ever, you even met Polly and all those other wonderful girls. Rob and um, Faith. I, I remember their names very slowly. They'll come to me. Don't worry, guys. Um, don't worry. Um, you're not just going to screw it up by putting the wrong t-shirt in the wrong drawer. Yeah, exactly. Nobody's going to hate you for like messing up your drawers. Come on now. And you're definitely not going to screw it up at all since you're like Tai Saito. Yeah, there we go. You'll get the grades and find happiness or whatever it is you wish for. Ugh. I need to wash the sappiness off. Yeah, there we go. Oh, guys, get all sappy, guys. Oh, but Ty could really use a bit of pep talk. Oh, fine. Uh, should we just meet up there? Oh, no, girl, we can just go together. You know, it's not halfway across town, is it? Uh, the school isn't that big. I'm, I'm sure we'll find each other. Oh, there we go. Well, hopefully I'll be able to finish up here. Oh, we'll just help her out. You know, help her finish up there. I'll, uh... Leave you to it then. <laughs> oh, yeah, she probably didn't want us touching her thing, so, so probably not a good idea to help her out then. Um, alright, well, bye. Um, okay, we're just gonna leave like that? No kiss goodbye? No! Oh, god. I should really get back to my room and at least start unpacking before the event starts tonight. Okay, at least he's a little bit diligent there. Alright, so going back to our room. Hmm. My bags are a lot lighter than Ty's. <laughs> well, she probably packed like a bunch of extra books in there, just saying. Must be a girl thing. <laughs> ah, there we go. A little stab with the girls there. I'm sorry, girls. That's, I'm sure you're fine. Oh, God. Um, I passed by what seems to be a few clamoring underclassmen. Oh, okay. Can we see them? Can I, can I see some more of these people? Are there actual boys in this, or is it just me? Either I'm still getting tall, or some of these students are pretty short. Oh, okay. Well, Tom's a freaking giant. That's good to know. Unlike me, I'm freaking short as all hell. <laughs> I sit it back down before uh, unlocking the door to my room. Oh, okay. Um, huh. Alright, so we get we did get to see any underclassmen or whatever, upperclassmen, or any other boys for that matter. Do they exist? I want to know. Oh, okay. I'm still coming to grips with calling this my room. It, it kind of feels like a hotel room at the moment. Complete with that standard fresh linen scent. Well, I've never been... <laughs> the fresh linen scent's always been kind of good. What are you complaining? I'm sure I'll be home one day. I'll have all year to make this place my to my likings. Yeah, there we go. But for now, I think I could do with uh, some well-deserved rest. Hopefully you don't oversleep there, buddy. Ugh. Oh, crap. I fell asleep. Oh, shit. I told you. You fucking fell asleep, and now he's almost slept. What time is it? It's almost nine. Almost time for the event to start. Oh, shit. My bags are sitting in the corner of the room. I immediately regret my decision to take a quick break. Oh, shit. Well, at least I've got all tomorrow to finish some packing. I'm sure I'll get around to it eventually. I should get going. Okay, Tom, get out there. As I exit my room, I see a few other guys hanging out in the hall. They seem like new friends, I'm sure. Probably just met each other today. Underclassmen, if I had to take a guess, well, yeah, maybe you can make a friend too. It's strange how much I feel like a freshman. The feeling of being somewhere new and not exactly knowing your way around. Then I remember I'm not like a little kid anymore. Well, you'll be fine, Tom. Hmm. There probably aren't too many seniors staying in the dorms either. I guess that makes me an out an outlier. <laughs> okay, sure. And that probably means I won't have to study partner either. Unless there's some boy genius in this hall. <laughs> it's alright, man. You'll be fine. I, I slowly walk down the hall. The dorms entrance and out to the main court. Yeah, you'll have tied to. So you'll be absolutely fine. Oh, oh, here we go. The remnants of the summer air greet me as I walk out of the air-conditioned lobby. I can feel the seasons changing already. Makes me wonder what the winter's gonna be like. Oh, this looks rather nice. The campus walkways are still fairly lit by the lights coming from the buildings and the lamp fixtures, but it's still pretty dark yet. I look up at the sky. The moon's a nice crescent tonight, and not too many stars are currently visible at the moment. Well, there's still a little bit. I can see a bit. Um, some students are spaced <laughs> throughout the lawn. Some sitting on blankets and others standing up, but they're mostly all in groups, conversing amongst themselves. The, the already quiet music fades out, out to a lower volume and the voice ring and a voice rings out. Oh, a voice? Who's that? Well, good morning, freshman. Oh, look, it's Minty again now. Laura, whatever I want to call it. I still like calling her Minty. All right, and all you returning students, welcome to this year's Star Swirl Night. Oh, Star Swirl Night. Oh, there's the freaking moon up there. And we're going to be shutting off the lights in a few minutes once we've got most everyone settled in. All right, but until then, sit tight and get cozy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get your day, guys. The music resumes while Laura backs away from the center of the courtyard and starts greeting people coming in. I guess she's the welcome committee for tonight. 
A little more laid back then. This morning's welcome committee, if you ask me. Yeah, that woman is freaking fierce. I, I quite like her. I walk towards her. She <laughs> whips to some people. Oh, there we go. Tom is actually approaching her. Oh, what's cracking there, girl? Well, hey, Tom. You decided to show up after all. Yeah, girl, for you anything. Well, yep. Oh, there we go. Nice going there. Sweet. Did you manage to convince your girlfriend to come? Oh, you know it, girl. Oh, man. She already knows that she's my girlfriend. Oh, well, she's not my... Ah, oh, screw it. <laughs> oh, there we go. He just gave up there. Accept the love, Tom. Accept the love. Oh, shit. Yeah, she said she'd meet me here. Oh, then. Really? Good job. <laughs> oh, thank you, Frank and Minty. You're the best. No, she could afford to get out more. <laughs> yeah, definitely. She definitely needs to get out more. No, I haven't seen her around yet, though. Oh, okay. Me neither. No, I'll keep an eye out for her, and I'll point her to you if I find you first. Oh, my God, Minty. You're the best girl ever. Thank you. Well, thanks. Alright, Laura makes her escaping. Go back to her post of greeting people walking around. You know, from the looks of things, this, this seems like something Ty would like. Nice and quiet, very relaxed, and a chance to look at the stars. Right up her alley. Yeah, that does seem like a really good time. Maybe you can convince her with that. That is, if she's not currently freaking out about school. Oh, God. But I'm sure there's no stopping that. Oh, oh, there she is. There you are. Oh no, she's a bit pissed. Oh god. Um, Ty approaches me from a distance and says hello. She's carrying a folded up picnic blanket. Oh, she even brought a picnic blanket. Guys, we're gonna have a picnic there. You know, leave it to Ty to be almost entirely prepared for pretty much anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, hey you. Hard to see in the dark. Oh, nice cover there, Tom. Nice cover there. Uh, of course. Not like you stand out too much either. Oh, ouch. Thanks. Thanks for that, Ty. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, she spreads the blanket on an empty section of grass, hiring out any creases before sitting down. She looks at the... Well, you gotta fucking sit down. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, girl. Well, <laughs> oh, that actually is what she said. <laughs> Holy shit, I called it, guys. Okay, fine. I, I take that as an invitation to sit down next to her. Looks like it's not very big. Oh, oh, maybe she planned that one out, too, then. Ooh, we're getting fresh, guys. Ooh, where did you get this blanket? Um, I had it packed in my bags, which I actually finished unpacking. <laughs> oh, well damn, she actually finished unpacking it. I have her sight and clap congratulations. Holy shit, right? Oh, damn, where could go in there? Okay, why did you get this blanket? <laughs> what do you mean, why did you get this blanket? Because she wanted to go out with you. Um, I hope, uh, uh does it matter? <laughs> oh, what is this? She's playing coy with me? Come on now. I shrug. Well, I, I, I guess it doesn't. Okay. Nice and awkward silence again there, guys. It's a great conversation. Thanks for, uh, coming out here tonight. Oh, there we go, okay? Breaking the ice there. Good going, Tom. I, I'm here behind you, buddy. You can do it, man. She's just kind of a hard-to-catch girl. Hmm? Oh, God, um, I figured you could use a bit of relaxation. Uh, does it take a genius to figure out how stressed she must be, or... Or maybe it's because I know her a bit too well. Oh, okay. Um, I suppose there's no hiding it. You, you can read me like a book. Oh, like a book there. Oh, she's even blushing a little bit there. Oh, at least I'm reading something, right? Oh, there we go, yeah. I, I didn't take Tom as the reading type there. No, no offense to him. Um, well, nothing to be proud of. You know me for how long now? I, I don't know. How long have I known you for, girl? I really hope that the stress won't eat you alive. Otherwise, you know, I'll be I'll be down one friend. Yeah, we don't want to be down one friend. Ty laughs quietly as we both look around. Seems like most everyone is sitting down with the friends, talking away. One silhouette walks to the center of the courtyard. She clears her throat. Oh, oh, who's that? Oh, okay, is she gonna join us? Oh, oh no, it's Minty Gay. Oh, all right, everyone, we're going to dim the lights now. Oh, okay. Uh, nobody start freaking out on me. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Well, maybe we might start making out too, Minty. Oh, no, 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 stop being so. The calming of the surrounding students settled down a bit. Oh, gosh. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, there we go, girls. Oh, there we freaking go. Darkness. <laughs> oh, yeah. The school goes dark, and everyone begins to excitedly talk. There we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, for whom this glorious sight. Oh, yeah, freaking time. I tilt my head back into the face of the sky and my, uh, my focus shifts. Stars sprinkled across the sky without any of our lights competing against it. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Oh, soak it in, buddy. Ooh, soak it in. I don't think I've ever seen the sky this clear before. It's unlike anything I've ever seen, and yet it's the same sky I've been uh, under my whole life. Sure, this is owed to the fact that the school I switched off all the lights, but... 
I don't think that it takes away from any of the awe of this experience. The fact that this is the type of school to go through of the bother of cutting off electric electricity, something we all depend on, just to look up at the stars. Yeah, that is kind of a weird thing. Well, it's beautiful. Star Thrill Academy has something different about it, and it's not as superficial as the Posh Gates or the One Girl Welcome Committee. <laughs> yeah, the freaking Polly there. I said there's something more. Something I probably need in my life right now. Yeah, you know what that is right now, buddy. You freaking know what that is, and that's freaking love. But we're gonna find out exactly what that thing is next time, guys, there. So look for what happens next time here. Hopefully, he's gonna discover love with time. Oh my goodness gracious. So, once again, guys, leave a like if you wanna see some more if you just really enjoy this episode. And I hope to see you beautiful sons of guns again for the next episode.